Hello, it's Ollie here from Flint & Steel. We've got me and Rich in the showroom and we're going to talk about the science of metals and we're going to do a deep dive into all the different tech specs on our metals and our rings that we offer. We've got our nice handy little Flint & Steel um, breakdown of what all the metals do and the different personalities of all the different metals. You can find us on the website. So we're going to read off this and we're going to introduce you to some of these rings. We've got alternative metal wedding rings such as tantalum, titanium, tungsten, cobalt and stainless steel and they're much different to white gold or yellow gold. In the jewellery industry we've got a, a grading scale called the Mohs Hardness Scale. Gold and silver that are about a 3, 4 uh, on the Mohs scale and then we've got titanium and stainless steel which are 6, 6.5 and, and up to 7 uh, and then diamonds are a 10, the hardest sort of material known to man. Um, so the difference with the flint and steel rings is that they are harder and more hard wearing and we designed them so that they last a lifetime. We've got tantalum which is one of our most popular metals. It's really the sort of most alternative metal that we've got. We started out in stainless steel and titanium and then we quickly moved towards all of us in-house loving tantalum because of this dark smoky kind of mysterious metal. Um, it is our, it's our heaviest ring option, isn't it? Um, this one as well, it comes in as hypoallergenic, so that's great uh, in terms of any allergies. Similar mid-range of Mohs hardness scale, six and a half. Mm -hmm. It's nice and tough for a wedding ring. It is 99.95% tantalum. One of the rarest metals on earth, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. apparently there's only sort of 50, 50 years left of yeah. resources of tan tantalum in the world, so yeah, it could be like a, a future future alien piece, I suppose. Next up on the list, we've got cobalt, which is our shiniest and brightest of metals. Um, yeah, it's a really good kind of alternative to traditional like white gold, platinum. Um, so if you want something that kind of isn't too extreme in terms of too dark, too light, and you want something a little bit more traditional looking, but obviously all the properties of cobalt then, um, yeah, it's a really good, really good shout. It's five on the Mohs scale, so like all our rings, um, that is the softest of materials, but still pretty tough compared to like a three of white gold. Mm -hmm. It does have some cobalt, chromium, uh, molybdenum, iron and manganese, so there's a couple of uh, metals in there to be aware of, so it isn't classed as hypoallergenic. You'd have to go and search for some of the other metals like titanium, mm -hmm. uh, tantalum, etc. Yeah, really. I mean, it's really it's cobalt chrome, isn't it? It's like yeah. the the chrome chromium in there is what gives it its kind of the shine and the, and the brightness to it. It's kind of a midweight as well, so yeah, not too light. Um, yeah, but not as heavy as kind of tantalum or, or tungsten. So yeah, it, it kind of nice all round. We've got tungsten's a bit slightly harder at eight or nine, but it's super brittle. So if it's dropped or hit on a tile then it will crack um, and it's yeah, super brittle compared to the other metals where if you drop them or dent them or bang your hand they kind of just take on that patina don't they? Yeah that's right, yeah so the tungsten that's obviously like a, an 8 or a 9 on, on most scales so it's super hard um, but like Colin said it's, it's brittle so whilst it's hard in terms of standing up to like squeezes and, and yeah, scratches, scratches and things and stuff. Um, if you do drop it because of its hardness it just doesn't have any flex in it so if you drop it on like a, a tiled surface or a stone floor or something like that it's just gonna crack and what we tend to find is we just see two like really clean breaks if it's straight, 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 half. Straight, straight in half so good in a way that if you need to take it off in an emergency it's easy to kind of crack it but yeah we don't advise taking your tungsten wedding ring off in the bathroom if you've got a yeah. bathroom floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the tungsten that we use is a, a great one tungsten so it's um, it's 90% tungsten but there is some nickel and some iron in it so obviously not hypoallergenic if you've got a nickel or an iron allergy um, we wouldn't recommend tungsten but what it does give you is like a really nice kind of luster sparkly luster to it yeah um, it's kind of known as the forever brilliant metal but you've got the weight there as well, so it's actually one of the heaviest yeah. ones. Like, you know, it's kind of up there with tantalum in, in one of the heaviest metals that we do. So, 
um, that's kind of a big factor with, with a lot of people who are wearing rings for the first time. Kind of moves us on, keeping with a T is titanium, similar colour, similar, it, it's slightly less on the Mohs scale of hardness, it's six, you know, um, that's kind of baseline of what we've got for our rings is a good five or six on the Mohs scale, so it's a tough metal, obviously you use it in aircraft, engineering, all sorts of things like that. It is, it's one of the best for hypoallergenic, so if you've got allergies, titanium's a really safe bet to go with, that it's not going to make your fingers itch or anything like that with any yeah. contaminants or, or other metals that, that might affect your skin. And like you say, it's super light, so you know, yeah. there's really nothing to it when you, when you feel the titanium. Good old stainless steel. This is uh, where we started. Um, and yeah, stainless, it's super, it's just an incredible metal. Um, it's five and a half on the Mohs scale, so it's, uh, it's super tough. It'll take those knocks and dinks and other things and it patina over time. It isn't hypoallergenic because we've got some iron, some chromium, some nickel in there, tiny little trace amounts. <laughs> so not hypoallergenic, but for the average, everyday wear it's uh, quite a popular choice so we used like was it 316l yeah um surgical marine grade i suppose yeah it's um yeah and used in yeah like say marine industry uh, surgical tools and equipment like that so it's super it's waterproof it's corrosion resistant mm -hmm. it'll last last a lifetime weight wise it's kind of mid-range it's it's yeah it's not super lightweight like tit titanium that you might forget about but it's not super heavy like tantalum it's kind of there in the middle next up we've got our damascus which is a stainless damascus which is 304 and 316 mix of stainless steels um really nice quite highly it's like a ribbed texture um ra you know raised this wood grain pattern so you can really feel it when you say you run your finger or your nail over the over the ring. We don't polish out the insides um, of our Damascus, so you can kind of, yeah. as we do with most of the others, so you can you can really feel that that wood grain pattern through it. And yeah. obviously, it's the the welded, therefore uh, welded kind of folded um, patterns of steel. That's how that's how it's made. Um, yeah, it's a popular, popular metal, been made popular by people on here like Alex Steele and Forged in Fire, and so Damascus is really, it's kind of allows you to share a bit of personality mm -hmm. uh, and stand out a little bit because, you know, there aren't many people wearing Damascus wedding rings, so something that is it's just as robust and tough because it's stainless, so it's not going to corrode. Um, yeah, it's a pretty popular choice. We're going to move on to our dark smoky rings which is super titanium is pretty tough and hard on the Mohs scale seven and a half mm -hmm. um, it doesn't come under hyperallergenic because there's a um, we've got some, some tungsten some nickel and some molybdenum and a few other things in there um, you can check out on the full list mm -hmm. um, but in comparison to titanium it is it's pitch black you know it's got a black coating on that is super dark. Yeah. So we got we got two two versions of super titanium. We've got the black coated one, uh, which is a PVD coating um, and heat treated coating, which goes on there. So the natural super titanium is kind of obviously a mixture cool. between t titanium and tungsten. Um, so you've got the the kind of shimmer of tungsten, uh, but the lightness and the strength of titanium. That's why it's super amazing. Um, and this, you know, it comes in just like the normal colour or the um, the PVD coated black, black, which is pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, it's pretty nice. They look pretty striking. These are rings that will stand out on your finger uh, and kind of get noticed and you, you can make a bit more of a statement. Moving on to black zirconium. Similar process to the super titanium black. Um, this one is classed as hypoallergenic, so that one's really good. It's pure zirconium. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It's up there eight and a half on the Mohs scale, so it's a pretty robust ring. Really nice color to it, so really nice and dark. It's kind of in between like the, the tantalum and the super titanium, so it's not as dark. Um, it's got quite a, like a like a dusty, smoky grey to it, which is um, yeah really nice. Amazing. But um, obviously it's it's black zirconium, so it's a lot stronger and um, 
just a really cool metal. That has been me and Rich discussing the science and a bit of the tech behind our rings. We've got loads of options to choose from and pretty much all the metals are available in all of the styles. Check them out on our website. You can find out all the info or drop an email to one of our team and you can learn more about it. Um, or come into the showroom if you're in Sheffield in the UK and check them out in person. If you can do all that social stuff and you can comment below, um, hit like please if you can and subscribe as well, that'll really help us out. Check out our other videos and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Thanks.